presidential debate kicks off tonight, and it is laid out to be a debate like we have never seen before. The candidates will be facing new rules and a new format. As the nation watches closely, both President Biden and former President Trump will have their chance to speak directly to voters and make their case for the White House. Joining us now to preview tonight's debate, which should be interesting to say the least, <laughs> is political strategist and federal and civil trial attorney Kelly Hyman. Hi, Kelly. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good morning. Good right, morning so, to all your wonderful viewers. Yeah. All right, so some of the key issues that will be the major focus in tonight's debate in your estimation, although it just seems so odd to talk about these two talking about key issues when there's so much, mm -hmm. so many other things at play with this debate. There are so many key issues affecting the American people. One definitely is, is the economy. That's always a concern for the American people about making sure that they have food on the table and covering their expenses, but also about freedom. This election is definitely going to be about freedom. As for women, for reproductive freedom, we cannot forget that after over 50 years, Roe v. Wade, the Supreme Court overturned the law of the land where women had a right to abortion. And the fact that Trump has come out and said that women should be punished for their, their abortion. So that's definitely, definitely going to be on the table as well, especially immigration, what's going on in our country, and a lot of other um, issues that are affecting us. And Kelly, such a unique debate. Very earlier, it's earlier in the year. The rules are different as well. You know, we have no audience, no opening statements, and the candidates' mics are going to be muted when they're not speaking. So how big of an impact will these rules have, and how could it change the way candidates approach the debate tonight? Well, we have to remember that both campaigns agreed to these terms. So they both agreed to the fact that there are going to be no audience there and about the muting of the mic. This hasn't happened since the Kennedy and Nixon debate in the ninth, way back when, um, and that's when they did not have a studio audience. And so it'll be interesting to see because Trump supposedly feeds off the studio audience. It would be good for the American people not to be persuaded by the audience itself, but make up their own determination on what they feel is important to them and what the candidates say to the American people and allow people the really opportunity to hear what the candidates have to say. And ultimately, that's what's great about our country. No matter you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, you can get out there and you can vote. And voting is key and expressing your right. It's a fundamental right to get out there and, and vote for who you you want as our president. So do you honestly believe tonight is because of the rules that we've just mentioned, this is a, a great opportunity for both parties to basically get out their talk, not just their talking points, but what they actually plan to do for the American people? Because you hear, you know, you hear any of the Trump rallies and it's, a, it's about retribution and it's, it's about just kind of these rants and whatnot with the crowd, uh, with the, the crowd applause and things like that. But this gives them an opportunity to actually say, this is what we can do for you. Yes, exactly. What We want a president that's going to work for the American people. We hire them, we get out there, and we vote. And it's important for us to have someone that wakes up every morning and says, what can I do for my country, not what my country can do for me? And I think that's really Im important for people to understand and to really get out there and vote. And it will give both of them the opportunity to say, hey, listen, this is what I have done. This is my plans for my future. This is what the future is going to be like. And this is such a key election, so important for the American people to get out there and really vote. All right. Thank you so much. A lot to watch for tonight. Political strategist, federal and civil trial attorney Kelly Hyman, thank you. Thank and you. you. Can, Good to see you. Thanks, Kelly. And you can watch tonight's first presidential debate hosted by CNN on CBS2 with coverage beginning at 8 p.m. tonight.